In this lecture, we'll be discussing the full paper of JE Mains 2025, 22nd January morning shift in detail. We'll go through all the questions and analyze the concepts and explore the best to suitable approaches to solve the questions in a most efficient way. So in section A, the first question is from relations and functions. The number of non-empty equivalence relations on the set 1, 2, 3 is. To find the number of equivalence relations, we should have an idea of bell tree. So first I'll go with bell tree. Coming to bell tree, how do we draw a bell tree? If n equals to 1, bell tree will be 1. If n equals to 2, with whatever we have ended the previous one, we start with it 1 plus 1, 2. We add 1 plus 1, then equals to 2. If we put n equals to 3, that is 3 number of elements, we have ended with 2. So 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. We have ended with 5. Now for n is equals to 4, we start with 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. And this goes on. So this is what we say, bell tree. 16 times secant inverse x whole square plus cosecant inverse x whole square. Secant inverse x whole square plus cosecant inverse x whole square. A square plus B square, we can write it as A plus B whole square minus 2AB. What is A plus B whole square? Secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x is pi by 2. So that we can write it as 16 times pi by 2 whole square minus 2AB. 2 times of secant inverse x into cosecant inverse x, we can again write it as pi by 2 minus secant inverse x. Because let's try to express in one single expression so that it will be easy, easier to simplify. That's it. Now 16 times pi square by 4 minus uh, pi into secant inverse x minus plus 2 times of secant inverse x whole square. 